AI is making game development more accessible than ever. The poster child for this has to be Peter Levels. He goes by Levels IO on X. He recently launched his flight simulator game, all built from scratch using vibe coding. That's where you let AI do most of the heavy lifting, and it has just blown up. And he's even lined up a number of sponsorships. So he's actually generating money from his game that he built with vibe coding. And now Levels IO is taking it to the next level. He's hosting a vibe coding game jam where participants can submit their game provided that at least 80% of the code is written by AI. I'm going to walk you through a game that I recently put together using Replit's AI agent. I'll walk you through my process. I'll give you some tips and hopefully get you to a point where you can submit your own game to the competition. So let's jump into it. First, let me show you my game. This is BattleBot Arena. This is live. I can have multiple players in this arena battling it out. I've got some bots here that I can work with. I've got a mini map on the right. I can toggle between different views, hunt down these other robots. This is third person, health score, gameplay score, all the good stuff and this is also available on mobile now i'm going to walk you through my process and show you how i built it on replit okay so we head over to replit the first thing you're going to see is a prompt to kick off ai agent i suggest that you enable version 2 of replit's ai agent you can do that in your preferences by turning on the explorer mode and so the first thing that we need is a prompt so for that i headed over to grok 3 and i put in the competition requirements and mentioned that I wanted a battle bot game based on those requirements. And I enabled thinking for this and after some back and forth, I took this prompt and headed over to AI agent and I ran the prompt optimizer. This is going to improve this prompt and make it a little bit easier for AI agents to implement this. And a little bit of a cleaner layout here. We have some core features that we want. We have some visual references of examples that we want to try to mimic style guides, style details. So look this over and you just click on start building and AI agent will put together a plan and start working on your MVP. After that, you'll land in your developer layout and here's where you go back and forth with AI agent, just working on any bugs that need to be fixed and adding any features that you want to include in the game. You also have a really nice web preview here so that you can interact with the game as you're developing. So you can see me here kind of going around here and using the game. And if there are any issues, I can go back to AI agent to fix it. You can also test this on your phone by getting the dev URL and sending that to your phone and trying the gameplay on mobile. And that's pretty much it. It's just going back and forth with AI agent, testing out the application. Once you're comfortable with what you have, deployment is pretty easy. You head over to your deployments tab and you deploy from here. You have a couple of different options here. I went with auto scale because I want the resources to scale up and down depending on how many players I have on my application. It'll take about a minute to deploy and your game is live and ready to share. I hope this is helpful. Definitely take a crack at building out your own game and submitting it to the game jam. Make sure you tag me. I'd love to see what you build. And if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to drop them below. Thanks and talk to you on the next one.